Are we live? Circle. Good morning, or good evening, afternoon, whatever. Um, daily reminder, take your meds, drink some water. Today's Tuesday, and on this Tuesday, I'm pumped because I'm getting a new mattress, which I have been looking forward to for a very long time. I'm pumped. New mattress means better sleep, hopefully. Um, so today, I just want to do a little quick reading. Um, nothing too in-depth. Still working with my Seasons of the Witch deck. Um, I'm gonna explore one of the other uh, card spreads that I haven't done yet. Do do do. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe. Let's do this one. The moon phase is spread. Yeah. Alright. Oh, wait, I've done that one, I think. Let's see. Sure, this one's a big one. Let's do this one. Eight cards. A spread for embracing your path. Good morning, River. So in this one... It says, the desire to find your life's purpose means you are on the right path towards spiritual enlightenment. Use this spread to find clarity about what you're meant to be doing with your life and how you can start to step into your purpose. So we'll be, as blah, blah, blah. We'll be asking and answering these questions. What is my life's purpose? How can I use this purpose to heal others? What can I do to heal myself? In what ways am I self-sabotaging? What is an illusion I need to move past to be successful? What is my plan to move forward? What is something I need to learn to be successful? How are my guides supporting me on this path? So that's cool. Let's do that one. That one seems right. Stay. Okay. Get the keyboard. Give myself a little more room. Okay. All right. So per usual, I'm gonna close my eyes, breathe a little bit, um, focus on what I'm doing. Um, I'll draw the cards and then we will talk about them. And uh, for anyone who's curious what a reading looks like, it looks very similar to what I do here, except for you instead of just for me, you know. Um, so, you know, we'll if it's virtual, face to face, I'll you know we can introduce ourselves. I'll you know tell you to meditate. You know, close your eyes, breathe with me, I'll draw your cards, and then we'll talk about them. And then afterwards you can, like, let me in if any of the cards really hit home, why they hit home, that kind of thing. Um, we can discuss that too, kind of delve a little deeper. Um, very similar to what we do here, right? Um, so let me just jump into this. go we got our eight cards Let's strap in let's learn all right so this first card I got <clears throat> is what is my life's purpose and I got the divination card which says take a breath take it twice insightful reflections are, gu are guided by light there's that one and let me read the card keywords guidance reflection and insight 
cards, tea leaves, coffee, clouds, candlelight, flowers. There are dozens of ways to embrace the art of divination, a practice used to seek guidance from the divine and part of a witch's toolkit for centuries. It is a beautiful practice that can help you see beyond what is immediately in front of you. It can show you hidden dangers and gifts, provide new ideas, and shut down old ones. Divination is a way to seek the advice of the powers that be while also showing hidden dangers and truths. If you have pulled divination, you are being asked to explore your ability to receive guidance from the earth and the divine. Now it's time to go deeper into your practice, and you must learn to trust in your own ability to feel your way into messages as well as your ability to interpret them. This card also means there is a need to take more time to reflect. It can be easy to get lost in the day today without taking time to process everything you've been through. Something as simple as pulling a single card every day, either in the morning or evening, can help you make a uh, sense of the events around you. It can help you to see things that you overlooked or consider... Hey! Help you to see things that you overlooked or consider something that you would never have otherwise. So, what's going on over there? Bones and Burger. Burger's a drama queen, and Bones just likes to kind of like flex his, like, like, come at me, bro, you know? And Burger doesn't like it, so he hisses and curls up like a baby, and Bones doesn't touch him <laughs> at all. Just is around him. It's kind of funny. Anyway, <clears throat> it also gives other forms of divination, so that's cool. Automatic writing, which is writing or drawing messages received from the spirit realm while in an altered state of consciousness. Bone reading, candle reading, dreams, flowers, herbs, numerology, palmistry, runes, scrying. Cool. Does that mean I gotta stop it where it said, uh, um, what did it say? Um, now it's time to go deeper in your practice, blah, blah, blah. Um, trust your ability to interpret them. Does that mean I gotta put the book down? <laughs> I like this card. And this was, um, the, the question you know, that I'm answering here, is, what is my life's purpose? Well, it's a good thing, if it's divination, I'm on the right track. So, the next one, the question is, how can I use this purpose to heal others? Um, and the card I got is Ancestors. This is what that looks like. Oh, I have, there we go. Ancestors. And it says... They hiss a quivering so deep, only roots of your soil can lift the nakedness hidden within the vows made in silence, an ancient chill walking upon the spine. Number three. So the keywords are protection and guidance, which, you know, I would guess right off the bat, ancestors just, you know, telling me to think of the people that have came before me, which makes sense. Uh, my mom told me that many people thought my grandma had a gift. Um, I think my mom had one, but she just, she was too wrapped up in trauma to realize it, um, or to get in touch with it. But I think my grandma definitely had a gift, and I think that's what this card is telling me to do. Maybe um, light a candle for my grandma, get in touch with her. But I'll read the book. Hi, Doyle. I'd rather you not, because I have cards up here. Here, come here. Come here. On my left. No, you just want... Okay, come here. We go. Alright. You want to read with me? You want to read it? Okay. You read it. <laughs> he, he grumbled. He does not want to read it. Alright. Your ancestors are always with you, protecting you. They watch over you and keep you from harm's way. They are present, telling you that it is safe to go forward, and you absolutely need to. You feel them with you. They also protect you from things you cannot see, like someone trying to put a hex on you, or someone who is talking about you behind your back. These threats never make it to you, because your ancestors have protected you without you having to ask. They want what is best for you, and they love you unconditionally. Rest easy, you have chosen this card because you are being protected and guided, even if you can't see how. Everything that has brought you here has been for a purpose. There is some lesson, blessing, or miracle in every situation you've ever faced, good or bad. Trust in those who watch over you. Know that there are thousands, maybe millions of your ancestors who have walked here 
walked before you sharing their love, wisdom, and protection. Be sure to thank them, because you wouldn't be here if they hadn't walked their hardships. <clears throat> Many have lived and died, laughed and suffered, and sacrificed so that you can be here. Honor your ancestors by trusting them to watch over you. Call on them when you feel alone or afraid and give them your fears. Give your fears to them, allowing them to hold you as you walk your path through life. It's a nice reminder that, you know, however alone you may feel, you're never truly alone, you know? I like that. And that question, just to remind myself, was how can I use this purpose to heal others? Hmm, interesting. Alright, the next one, I got Dark Moon, which is number 13. And the question, hi girl, is, what can I do to heal myself? <clears throat> okay. Keywords, new beginnings, letting go. I know what this is going to say, but I'm going to read it. In the mystical world, the dark moon is a time of setting intentions and welcoming new beginnings. It is the beginning of the moon cycle and represents a chance to start fresh with new and renewed energy. The dark moon is like the last stretch of darkness before the rise of the dawn, or in this case, the moon. It represents hope, better days to come, and an easier road to travel. This period supports visualizing and is a great time to expand your mind. Use this time to dream without thinking about the limitations of life. What do you want to create in your life? What goals do you want to manifest? Think big, the bigger the better. Think as if you had a magic wand that you could grant you every wish, no matter the cost or energy required. If you are holding the Dark Moon card, <clears throat> know that there is always a chance to start again. Your situation may seem like the end of the road, but it is not, especially for those who know this power of spirit. You must have hope, even when things seem too hard to bear. There is always a new moon just a few weeks away, and there will always be a new opportunity waiting for you as well. It may not come as quickly as you like, but hope is a powerful force and will set things in motion for you. That's very applicable. And this is, <clears throat> what can I do to heal myself? Let go, start something new. <sighs> so applicable. Um, next one. Healer. That's the card I got in reverse. In what ways am I self-sabotaging? Oh boy. Um, so this one. Listen as the medicine bleeds through her teeth, a river of mercy blessed by mother, seen only by those who hold her, her mirror. So there's that one. Healer. In reverse. What's 22? If you have pulled healer in reverse, it is because you have taken on too much and clearing is in order. It's important to cleanse and clear negative energy, especially when you are healing others. Healers are generally empaths, a person who picks up and holds the energies of those around them. Empaths must take extra precautions to make sure their energy stays clean. Take a few days away from your normal life and spend some time recharging. You cannot heal others if you cannot heal yourself. That is definitely a self-sabotage. Card five. What is an illusion I need to move past to be successful? I got the grief card. It's number 20. I also got it in reversed. Alright. So that's what that looks like. And it says, It is but a mere glimpse of nothingness, hidden away deep within the chambers of your mourning in the red clover's birthing lost illusion. Let's see. Grief is a warning in reverse. You are about to lose something you love, though you know it has run its course. Even if it seems unexpected, things have reached their natural end, and although painful, it's time to let go. <sighs> wow. Alright. All of this is so applicable, you guys don't even know. Because I was going to go live yesterday, but I made a decision not to because I made a bigger decision in my life. And uh, it really got to me. Um, so all of this is really applicable to uh, new things that have come up in my life. Um, which I will tell eventually. <clears throat> but for now, the next one. What is my plan to move forward? I got the Rebirth card. 
which says, There's death in all that awakens, for it isn't blissful nor painless. It's a mighty rising, O flame resurrected. Here's that one. 31. Again in reverse. When rebirth is in reverse, it is a reminder that transformation is neither painless nor easy. One must die before a resurrection can occur. One must leave behind their former self as the sacrifice for something better, more divine. This card reminds you that you have to willing, have to be willing to change who you are if your goal is to improve the life you have. Challenges are a part of growth that cannot be avoided. It is a necessary transition that serves not only your highest good, but all of the collective. What is my plan to move forward? Yeah. Alright. Well, next. What is something I need to learn to be successful? This is a one I've never gotten before. It's the first card in the deck, All Hallows' Eve. Call upon the voices that stir your senses through the night. Cast an unforgiven howl as you stomp your might through the ground. That's what it looks like. It's also in reverse. Number one. Okay. Gotta remind myself the question. What is something I need to learn to be successful? You are letting your emotions get in the way of being able to see your situation clearly. Emotion can be useful, but also hurtful. Anger might prevent you from working a successful magic spell, or feeling unattractive might put the brakes on a love spell. Likewise, a low vibration emotion might cloud your judgment, forcing you to react from an untrue place. The most destructive emotion is self-doubt. Magic needs confidence to work. You have to believe in your power, or the energy will not flow. It's okay to work a spell and not feel the energy. Take your time, then try again when your emotions are in a better place to receive what you desire. Alright, something I need to learn. Yeah, I am, I'm pretty sensitive. Um, I cry all the time. I try really hard not to dwell in my emotions, but I, yesterday I did, hardcore. I was mopey zoo lion all day long. Um, so, heard. Um, the last card is, how are my guides supporting me on this path? And I got the frog card. <laughs> May the lily beneath your breasts allow you to drink from its healing waters. Be still, for there is serenity behind the drowning croaks. Have that one. Number 17. Okay, there we go. And it's in reverse again. Lots of reverse ones. In reverse, the frog advises you to find serenity and peace. Your energy might be scattered, overwhelmed, or feel drained. You must settle yourself down to allow this transformation to occur, as it will make its way to you soon enough. You do not need to force this change. You merely need to find peace and await change. Alright, Doyle. Oh, we go. I need to scoop my chair in. So, this reading was so applicable. Um, to something I decided to do yesterday. I'm gonna put you down, buddy. Oh. <sighs> so this reading has given me a lot of insight. It's given me a lot of validation for the path that I'm on, and it's given me validation for the decision I made yesterday. Um, you know, a reminder to all of you that if something is feeling stale in your life, not serving you, um, or is more of a drain on you than, um, than a, a, a rejuvenator or something, you know, just if you're feeling too drained with the situation, that it's okay to make the decision to leave it, no matter what it is. Um, it's important to notice when something has run its course. And... Be patient with yourself through it, because when we realize something has run its course, we need to change. And change is hard. We get in our own heads, and we psych ourselves out. Um, you know, but with that being said, when a big change occurs, there's a lot of grief 
that happens. There's, you know, there's a lot of emotions depending on what it is. So let yourself feel those and move through it. That's like exactly what this is saying, this whole reading. Um, that, you know, when something dies, a situation dies, there is there is room for rebirth and it's never too late to start again. Um, and that's what a lot of change is. A lot of change is a fresh start or a new perspective, um, something like that. So just change is normal and go with the flow and be patient with yourself. Wonderful. <clears throat> okay. I am going to draw just a couple more cards. Something to leave, you know, as a reminder, something simple that we can all latch on to, you know, and, you know, use it for the week or the day, you know, just a reminder that we're awesome. You, me, any cats in here? No? Oh, they're not awesome, they're not in here. Oh, one jumped out at me, I'll take that one, and this one. For today, I take a risk. It's that one. Hello. 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 There we go. I got it. And then the other one. For today, I open to possibility. That goes right along with that reading. You know, because change, you got to be open to possibilities. Otherwise, you know, the more you change, the more you're going to fight yourself, and that's no good. You're going to expend so much energy. Um, and the change probably isn't going to happen as smoothly as it could, you know. Okay. All right. So, with that, I leave you. Um, I hope you have a great day today um, and a great day tomorrow, in case I'm not on here. This is my partner's spring break, so I'm spending a little extra time with him. Um, I love you all, and feel free to reach out to me if you want a reading. Um, if you're not sure, you know, on the fence about a reading, still talk to me. You know, I'll draw you a card and we'll see how it goes, right? Um, so, I'll catch you later. Have a good day. Bye.